Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to another video. This is WizWorks and today we're going to talk about a lesson and the lesson is called Special Numbers. Um, it's part of the quantitative section of the GAT or Qudarat exam. I think this is a very important um, lesson. It's uh, minimal, it's meaningful and it can be applied in many different um, uh, areas. So let's just get right into it. So let's start with number one. Number one says 101 multiplied by 64. So what is 101 multiplied by 64? Well, there is a simple um, like trick to it. Since it is 101, we count how many ones there are. There is one and two, so there's two ones. That means we repeat this twice. So the answer would be 64 64 this is the answer uh, let's move on to number two um, number two says one zero one zero one multiplied by 64 so um, as I told you the simple rule is let's write it down for reference the rule is count the ones to know how many times times to repeat like the numbers okay so let's apply this rule to number two so there is one two three zeros what does that mean that means the answer is 64, 64, 64. Okay, simple, right? Now let's move on to question number three. Question number three says 6,464 divided by 64. So we go back, we go back, and we kind of inversely uh, relate these rules. So what does that mean? What does that mean? We have two sixty fours here and one sixty four here. That means our answer is going to be one o one. Why? Why is it going to be one o one? Because uh, when we previously multiplied one o one by sixty four, we got sixty four sixty four. Uh, now it's just a matter of the op opposite, like the reciprocal is just dividing it by 64, meaning it's going to be 101, which is like the same thing. So now we know that number 1, number 1, and number 3 are, they have an inverse relationship. Inverse relationship. Halloween. Okay, now let's move on to number four. Number four says uh, there's, there's three sets of 64. So there's one, there's two, and there's a three. So one, two, three. And there's one here. What does that mean? We go back and we look at our uh, number two. We had this multiplied by this gives us this now for number um, number four so for number four we have the inverse relationship of number two uh, now let me let me show you what I mean there's uh, there's one way you can do this as you can see we have one two and three sets of 64s on the uh, numerator meaning there's going to be three ones there's gonna be three ones in the answer and uh, how many times is it uh, repeated? It's three times. And the, the zeros, the amount of zeros is always minus one. So there's three sets of uh, 64s minus one, meaning we have two zeros. There we go. We got it. We got it. Okay, now let's move on to number five. Number five says 64 divided by 64. Okay, guys, so number five says 64 divided by 64. So I guess there's maybe two ways we can solve this. We can use, uh, I guess, just the factual evidence that we know that any number 
number divided by itself equals 1. So that means we know that this equals 1. Or we can use the rules we just learned and apply it. And uh, because the 64 is only repeated once, once, that means the answer will be 1. Uh, we can use use special numbers rules. Okay, so these are the two ways you can solve this. Now, I want you guys to pause the video, take a moment, and try to solve this yourself. Okay, I hope you attempted to solve this, and now let's do this together. So, it says, what is the value of 24, 24, 24, divided by 24? So, there are, uh, 24 is repeated three times. It is repeated three times. What does that mean? That means there's going to be three ones. And... Uh, we, we know that uh, in order to find how many zeros it has, we have to do the amount, which is 3, minus uh, 1. Any, it's always like the amount of uh, repeated numbers. The amount of repeated numbers minus 1 gives you amount of zeros. Okay, so we have two zeros. We put them in between the ones which gives us answer D okay this is pretty simple right okay now let's try another one I want you again to pause the video and try to solve this by yourself okay I hope you attempted to solve this now let's do this together so it says what is the value of um, 476 and 476 so 476 is repeated twice repeated how many times twice okay and it's divided by 476 so what does that mean that means we're going to have two ones that means we're going to have two ones and because it's like uh, three consecutive repeated numbers uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do three minus one which gives us two and then we put the zeros in between we put the zeros in between so as we said the answer is gonna be B now let's move on to question number eight again I, I want you to pause the video and attempt this question okay I hope you at least attempted this question now uh, let's do this together so the question says, what is the value of 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, divided by 2, 3, 4, 5? Okay, so we have 2. We have 2. That means we're going to have 2 ones. That means we're going to have 2 ones. Let's count. We have 4 consecutive numbers. That means we have to do 4 minus 1, which gives us 3. And we're going to put three zeros in between. Why? Because it's two consecutive repeating patterns. That means we do not need to separate the zeros with ones. Hence why we have the three zeros in the middle of the ones. Okay, now let's move on to question number nine. Guys, we're almost done. So we have nine and ten and we're done. Khalas. Okay, so... Uh, question number nine says, what is the value of six, seven, eight, nine? Six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. So it's repeated three times and then divided by six, seven, eight, nine. What does this mean? Because we have three consecutive, uh, like repeated uh, numbers, that means we're going to have three ones. That means we're going to have a three ones. So one, two, three. And they are going to be separated by zeros. Why? Because they are more than two. Two like um, consecutively repeating. That means there's only two consecutively repeating numbers. So let me, let me write this down. So more than two can... Consecutive 
repeating patterns means ones are separating the zeros okay so I hope I made this clear now so with that being said this is uh, rather simple how many how many digits do we have so in the consecutive uh, thing we have one two three and four what does that mean it means four minus one equals three that means what does that mean we're going to have three zeros in between each one one two three one two three this is this is i hope this is uh, clear and simple now okay now we have our final final problem our final problem says which of the following is a prime number now before you attempt this um i basically explained like a lesson of prime numbers like a mini lesson it was a part of like a mixed uh, mixed uh, tips and tricks so if you uh watch this video right here uh, you can use active recall and uh, try to solve this problem if not i recommend you to go like watch it after this video it includes so many like very like important tricks that you're going to need for the qudrat exam so now let's uh, try to solve this which of the following is a prime number uh, i told you guys the three rules or three like facts about prime numbers in my previous video let me restate them the prime numbers facts you just have to know these okay so what just happened okay so two is the only even prime number okay that was fact number one fact number two is 101 is a prime it's a prime number and 91 is not prime why i don't think i explained why it's not prime last time but 91 is not a prime number because it is seven times three okay now with that in mind with that in mind which of the following is a prime number now because we know this fact because we know this fact we just automatically know it's c i hope you guys enjoyed this video please 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 do not uh, hesitate and comment any questions you have or email me my email is wizworks yt at gmail dot com you can email me for any questions you have or anything of that sort and i will be more than happy to assist you um with that being said thank you guys so much for watching this video please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video so you can help other people that uh, need help with the english qudarat this is wizworks see you in the next video